shot. Here we go. Oh, no. Dude, dude, this this gun is insane. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. No way. Oh, hi. Good evening, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. I, myself, am out here with Cody, and uh, we're gonna be doing a little bit of goose hunting today. Kind of the storyline for today, yesterday, Cody and I were doing a little bit of scouting, and we found this field that had a decent feed on there. Now, us two are gonna go out here in the evening and do a little bit of hunting. It's obviously the evening, and this morning it rained, so we were planning on hunting it in the morning, but since I didn't wanna sit there in the rain with this camera, um, it just would've been miserable. So we decided to come out here and try it tonight. There's one goose out there, which is good. It's making me think that the birds are still on a loaf or on a roost and that they're gonna come over here and feed hard. Um, no clue if they ended up feeding later this morning or if they didn't even feed at all. So I'm hoping they still come back regardless so we can shoot them. It's just gonna be me and Cody out here, just us two, and we're sitting out in layouts and we're gonna throw out like a little bit of decoys. We don't have that many with us. I even brought a special gun. So check this out guys Sheesh boys check out this beauty this right here is a single shot bolt action 20 gauge all right, this thing looks absolutely sexy. We're gonna see if this thing can shoot some geese today. I have no clue if it even fires. Sam gave it to me. Uh, it looks interesting. I don't know. I don't even know if it, yeah, like I said, I don't know if it's gonna fire or not, but we're gonna see if we can shoot some geese on the ground with it. And it's got this really cool choke up here. You can like turn this thing, you can make it modified, a full, and like just a bunch of different things. So I think I'm gonna keep it on a full right now because we going after those long shots. But yeah, that is what I'm gonna be shooting today for some of the time, I'm saying some of the time, just because if we have like a bunch of geese come in, you don't really just want one person shooting at it one time, you know, at a big volley. So like if a single or double comes in, I'm gonna use this gun. If like a giant group comes in, I'm probably just gonna have to use the old Franke. Regardless, I'm gonna see if I can shoot this gun and get something down on the ground. It would be really cool, I think, in my book to get a goose with this. A goose, I would be happy. No clue when these birds are gonna fly. We gotta get going. We gotta pack in the blinds still. We gotta walk out there because it's wet. We don't wanna tear up the field and sell out some decoys and then we'll start hunting. So you guys stay tuned. Goose hunting, coming soon. After a long 30 minutes, 40 minutes or so, we finally got set up. We still probably got about half an hour till these birds start flying to an hour. And uh, man, that was a walk. We had to walk from all the way over there to here to drag our blinds, the decoys, guns, ammunition, all that stuff just because it rained this morning and out of respect, we didn't want to tear up the farmer's field. So we didn't drive out here, but we finally set up. We got a couple spread out, mostly just family groups, and then a couple in the kill hall, and then, you know, family groups, family groups, all behind us. Five dozen decoys, two layup lines, two guys, and a dream. That's what we're gonna call this video. And if you guys are curious what I'm shooting today, um, I already showed you the gun, but let me show you the ammo. You come inside here, and the first thing you see, well, we got some goose jerky. As you can see, y'all are always asking me, hey, what do you do with all the birds you shoot? I make them into jerky, brats, bacon, all sorts of type of things, and maybe later on I'll shove some of these meat sticks on my mouth, but these are maple sticks, and uh, they're all goose. They look really good. And then you dig deeper inside the blind bag, and there's these sons of guns right here. These are some bougie-ass shells here. It says Apex Ammunition, 10 cartridges, 20 gauge. These are three inch eight shot at 1500 FPS. My friend Kyle gave me those, so I'm gonna shoot those today. I like some singles and doubles that come in, but uh, we're also gonna shoot the Franke. There's a big group coming in, and there are, there might be some geese coming this way, Cody, huh? Yeah, it looks like there might be some geese. So put the GoPro on, get loaded up, and hopefully we can get some geese. Rip, dude. Rip is right, my man. 
Well, those are the first birds that we saw of the night. Actually, we saw a couple more, and it so happens they landed in a field like no more than 500 yards west of us. So if we're competing with live birds, this is going to be pretty tough. It looks like those geese, they might put down over there. But that group actually came from behind us. I was expecting a lot of the groups to come from the west. But if all those groups keep going to that live feed just above us over there, it's going to be a rough night. Give him, a, give him the all sober cluck here. Oh, this one's turning around, Cody. Huh? This one's turning around. Solo? Yep. All right, this one's coming in. I might have to give him the old 20 gauge. Oh, this is a suicide single he wants in so bad. Come here, buddy. Come here, mister. Rip them. Didn't even get the shoot. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Hey, that's your ketchup cook right there, bud. All right. So that single came in, did it dirty. Oh, Cody, all the birds are up in front of us right now, too. Oh, heck Okay, yeah. so we got birds coming in. We got birds flying all around us. Uh, the one on the right, Cody shot that. I, I like, did it even... I was trying to aim really, really precisely with it because I only have one shot with this 20 gauge. And uh, <clears throat> Cody beat me to the punch, so... <laughs> That's good. Cool. Hey, was, like, hey, what if that's banded, bro? That'd be, that'd be hilarious. Good. But we got geese on the left, geese on the left. I think they're going to put down back. They might. Yeah, they might. Yeah, some of them landed. They're landing right now. Well, we had like a 20 pack. Um, they came and landed behind us. And they're close to the corn back there. But, uh... I don't know, that group came from the south, what was it, the southeast. Again, did not see that coming. I mean, that's kind of weird, but I'm hoping with those birds there, if other birds come over here, they're not gonna land by those guys because that would obviously not be good. I guess we're just gonna wait here and see what happens, and if need be, we might have to kick these birds up. 12 seconds later. Try them. God, let me finish that. Finish this one off. This. Oh my God, that twenty gauge just lit. I was laying back. Here. Hey, hey, shoot that one if you have a show. That's that was low key kind of a poke, brother. Well guys, a lot just went on right there. Um, we had a group of like 20 land behind us and Cody went to go scare them off. So, you know, we weren't contending with the live feed. It so happened when he went to go do that, all these other birds started flying and they wanted inside of our spread right here. And the problem was Cody was still running out there. So obviously that kind of like didn't help the situation. We had a couple that came in and then they saw Cody, they left. And then there was another group that came in and they like, Cody just laid down, hit the deck. They landed on the far left side. And since Cody was not in his layout blind, I was able to shoot this way at some of those. And I got one, um, I thought I should have gotten a couple more. I did not use the 20 gauge on that just because I there was more than one it was like if I would have shot with just this one and missed then I would have been like well I guess I'm just gonna watch these groups fly away so I ended up shooting the old Franke for that I did use the 20 gauge to finish uh, that one and it just hit that thing like a freaking train that thing died instantly with the 20 gauge so um, that thing was awesome but yeah uh, that's that's interesting it's funny how a hunt can go sometimes you know like there's all that there's nothing and then all of a sudden there's a bunch of things like it just it's crazy to see the highs and lows of hunting and that is a good example for it but we're gonna stay out here a little bit longer and see if anything else flies yeah stay tuned where'd those other ones go those other ones must have landed oh yeah i see them they landed one group landed over there this other group's still up oh solo coming in straight straight out a suicide single 
You gonna shoot? Yeah, I'm gonna try shooting with a single shot. If you're chill with that. Yeah. Nice, dude. Dude, the single shot. I got her done. Dude. <laughs> the all single nice shot. shot dude the all that was a poke too dude like th that was a freaking poke with that single oh my gosh dude i really tried to take my time and shoot that one but whoo yes sir if you're banded that's gonna be hilarious you're big as heck god i was hoping he was gonna be banded there you go yeah we had like a group uh i don't know 15 or so they landed over there, five kept going, going that way, and then one goose came just soaring in. And uh, have her get, had to give her the old onion with the old 20 gauge. Well, that's the first, first uh, bird down with the 20 gauge, that's lit. A few moments later. Oh my God. Shoot him now. <laughs> Oh god, yeah. Well, you four were really well earned. I will say that. And check out this. Sheesh, it's beautiful. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that little uh, segment of all those birds dumping in. They were ducks, so obviously we weren't able to shoot them. But man, it was fun watching those ducks work into us. And uh, it's getting me ready for duck season. I can't wait for the season to come in. I can't wait to start laying into them green heads. But anyways, that's where we're going to end uh, this portion of the video. I shot one with the antique shotgun, and I finished another one with it. And So I've taken two shots out of that, and man... Both those shots felt pretty good. I mean, I will say it, it, it kicks more than I thought it was gonna be, but when I, when you hit a bird, they seem to be pretty dead. So we love to see that ended up with four. And uh, yeah, we're gonna roll this into the next hunt. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing next, but I think tomorrow morning, we might be going back out and I'm gonna bring the 20 gauge and see if I can get some more down on the ground for you guys. So stay tuned, more 20 gauge action coming in hot. Whew. Well guys, it is the next morning and uh it's about well it's it's pretty early right now i woke up at three and drove to this field we got some boys that scouted this i'm with cody again and uh we're gonna do some more hunting we're gonna continue the 20 gauge video um i guess there's a lot of birds that come to this field so you know i'm gonna i'm gonna shoot the 20 gauge as much as possible but if there's giant groups i'm gonna feel bad if i you know shoot the 20 gauge and not my fronky so i'm gonna have both guns by me gonna be shooting hopefully i can get some down on the ground with both guns and uh yeah we're sitting in an a-frame in a wheat field with hay bales we put out a bunch of decoys i think it should be pretty good i wanted to hop on here and say real quick though that it is going to be raining today not sure what the rain is going to do it might start dumping right now it might start dumping in three hours we don't know so we gotta play that by uh you know by ear and i am going to not bring the camera out i don't want to break any more cameras i've been breaking them a lot so i'm just gonna be running gopro uh today so it is what it is but that's what's gonna happen and we're gonna go park the truck right now get ready the birds should start flying here in about eh, 40 minutes or so and let's see if we can get some birds on the ground eventually all right guys we just got set up it is shooting right now we have ducks dumping in everywhere we got three a-frames and about 12 dozen decoys out oh and there's geese right here so here we go a single shot baby shoot him Holy <laughs> shit. I didn't that even see those, right bro. He's coming. He's coming back. Oh, he wants a 20 gauge <laughs> smoke? <laughs> Ooh, somebody's gonna get him. <laughs> Who's shooting? Single shot. I don't know if I got him, but the old 20 gauge first shot of the day, boys. There we go. Those four literally came in out of nowhere, and uh, we got some down on the ground. We love that. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, yeah. Oh, yeah. Where the heck did those come from? Alright, well, we're sitting here, we shot those four and some like group of twenty came over. Got him! 
Hey, I got one, boys. The single shot is clapping, dude. Oh my god. Hey, dude, the single shot. The single shot's feeling good right now. Obviously, I only have one shot with it, and I believe I shot that one. That was freaking sick. That was freaking sick, boys. All right, we're back in the blind, and uh, we got some birds down. As you can see, they're big chilling over there, and uh, more are coming. So stay tuned. center up for us, huh? <clears throat> I didn't see the ones on the right. You're chilling. Wing that fucker. That ain't bad. Nice. Well, that's pretty good shirt, nice, 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 nice. Well, another group came in about a 12, 15 pack, and uh, I pulled up. I didn't think I, was, I didn't feel comfortable. I felt like I got up too late, so I didn't shoot. But the boys actually dropped a decent amount, so that's that good. Happen. That was uh, that was pretty cool. Get up. Nice Woo! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Good stuff, fellas. Good stuff. Well, we had a four pack coming out of nowhere from the left side, and they they circled her all the way around and put down at the end of our decoys. All four died, so that's good. 20 gauge is still feeling pretty good, but it turned out to be a good little shoot. We're getting close to 20 birds right now. <laughs> no more shots, boys. All right, there goes another four. Well, again, another four pack came in, and I uh, aimed at one. As soon as I shot, it, it died, so I didn't shoot it, but I pulled the trigger, and then I was beating up on another one, but obviously I have a single shot, so didn't get to shoot anymore. But the boys are still dumping birds, having a great time out here. The dog's working awesome. It's a good little shoot. How are you feeling about the hunt so far? It's going really good. You really good. you told me you skipped yeah. class. This, you're supposed to be in class right now. For it. Oh, that's Definitely dedication. Oh, that's yeah. dedication, boys. Yeah. Look at Daddy Zach. <laughs> look at this guy. Look at, look at this guy. He's so happy right now. Good boy. Good dog. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even shoot again. Dude, the boys are absolutely dumping. I pulled up and every bird I aimed at died. So I'm not mad about it. That was freaking sick, boys. That's another like eight, eight birds down, nine birds down. That was absolutely sick. Jack, Jack, you having fun? Are you having fun, buddy? Yeah, we're having a good time? Okay, see you. All right, let's dig in the old box here, see what we got today. Well, I still got some goose jerky from yesterday. And then, what are we? oh, we got some cliff bars. All right, cliff bars for me. This one is the peanut butter crunch. What do, what are you rocking for breakfast today? Reese's oh, and serious. a Mountain Dew. Reese's and a Mountain Dew? Yep. Oh, God. that's the breakfast of champions right you there, bet. dude. Can't beat it. Oh no! <laughs> Rip! <laughs> yeah, Dang, dude, it's not bad, but oh man. <laughs> not nothing like sitting in the rain eating a cliff bar with dirt on it <laughs> that's like the peak of my life man Oh my god, dude, no way. No way. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh, no man. way. I think the old 20 gauge might have gotten that one. No way, dude. That was freaking epic, dude. The 20 gauge got some They're range, boys. They're coming back. Oh, they're coming back? All right, let me reload this. Yep. Just got another gun. No way. Come here. Ah, oh, I think I saw it done. Get him. Oh my god, dude. Dude, this this gun is insane. Oh my god, dude. Oh my god. No way, dude. Call them back around. They came back they around, dude. Oh my gosh. Let's go, dude. I, th I shot two times. I'm pretty sure I shot two birds. That's freaking lit, dude. Okay, here's one. Oh, God, there's a big flock coming. Good thing we stayed. Oh, God. Good stuff, bro. Good stuff. Thanks, up, 40. Oh, what? I, I, I wasn't in. Wait, what wait, what just happened? Shot. I was <laughs> I didn't know there was geese horns. here. I didn't either. Good dog. Good boy. Drop it. Come here. Jack, come here. Jack, come here. Right here. Good dog. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, it's going well. Holy. <laughs> Can't ask for much better. Oh. Well, absolute madness just happened. We had a bunch of birds coming out of nowhere. And uh oh, I'm out of breath. I ran out here. We all ran out here to try to grab some geese and my goodness, dude, my goodness. The birds started flying just as soon as the rain kind of let up a little bit, but oh, we have a lot of birds down. This is turning out to be a super good shoot. Oh, goodness gracious. Look at that, boys. That looks beautiful. Well, did you guys like that hunt or what? Please pause the video right now, hit this video with a thumbs up because that video was an absolute banger. The boys and I absolutely clapped and man, I had so much fun. The 20 gauge was really fun to use. A part of me was wishing I was only shooting the 12 gauge today because I would have liked to seen how many birds I could have actually shot with that, having three shells in. But I would say the single shot, it made me like really focus in on one bird and really take my time shooting. I know you're supposed to do that like every shot when you have a shotgun with three shells in it. But I mean, for some reason, knowing that I had one shot in a 20 gauge, let alone with an eight shot, I just took my time, man, and pulled the trigger. I think I got a couple down. Hopefully the footage turned out really good for you guys, but thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe this video. Also, while you're down there, comment down below, do you guys use 20 gauges or 12 gauges? I'd like to see what you guys shoot, and yeah, just drop that down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. We will catch you on the next one.